Today's video, you're gonna get a full day of eating, trying to hit my cutting macros, which are uh, 2,005, 2,006 calories, 180 grams of carbs, 209 protein, 50 grams of fat. See if I can do it. What's up guys, welcome to the video. It's uh, Thursday morning, September 28th. Uh, getting ready to go to the gym here, but I'm going to um, do a full day of eating. So I'm gonna start off my calories with a little snack for the gym. And just to remind you guys, my calories for this week are 2,005 calories, and that's gonna be 180 grams of carbs, 209 grams of protein, and 50 grams of fat. So let me show you what I got here before heading to the gym. Got 84 grams of banana that I weighed out on my scale. And then I have this Dannon Light and Fit Greek Crunch Yogurt S'mores flavor with the uh, little granola that you pour in from the top. So that's gonna start my day off. Um, and I'm about to head to the gym and hit my second leg uh, day for the week. So gonna head there and then I'll show you guys what I have for my post-workout slash breakfast afterwards. Alright guys, uh, back in the kitchen. It's breakfast time. My post-workout meal. So, I'm gonna read off to you guys what I'm uh, what I'm eating. And just so you guys know, um, I've told you guys this before, but I use the app My Fitness Pal when um, to track all my um, calories, and it makes it very easy to do. Once you log something once, it just remembers it. You don't have to scan the barcode again. Um, and I did this a lot when I first started tracking macros, and I still do this sometimes. As, I actually do this a lot, especially when I'm cutting. I will usually plan out my day food-wise the night before, or even a few days before. Usually I meal prep, I just didn't do it this week. But I already have everything loaded, I know exactly what I'm gonna eat, I just pull it up, and I put the meal together and I eat it. Um, gotten pretty good at um, you know, counting macros and estimating foods now where I can kind of like f go as my day goes along, but it still makes it easier when you do it the night before. So I did today, last night, so I'm just going to show you guys what I'm about to make here for breakfast and then I'll show you. So I'm going to do two whole eggs and that's going to be mixed with seven servings of just the liquid egg whites. I'm going to do two slices of the Ezekiel bread with some of that avocado spread on top and then 156 grams of strawberries so that's going to be my next meal I'm going to show you guys that now and I need a new scale this one's getting kind of old but it works um, but I highly recommend weighing out your food guys it's going to make it a lot more accurate um, so that's that's what I um, that's what I do I guess you use measuring cups and stuff, but that's just not going to be quite as accurate as actually just weighing it out. So I, you can get these at Amazon, I, I think GNC, um, grocery stores, Giant Eagle, Kroger, whatever. I think um, they're not that expensive, maybe 20 bucks. So zero calorie cooking spray. Use the scale here. One serving is 46 grams and 46 times seven is 322 so here's what I do here take the cap off put this on the scale zero it out and then 
Seven servings is a lot, guys. So let's, let's see where we're at. Say we need to go to 322. It's pretty close. One more serving about. Wow, 322 on the dot. I'm getting too good at this. Well, I have eggs every morning about though, guys. So there's my seven servings. Two whole eggs in there. Scramble it up and start cutting my strawberries and making my toast. What did I say? 156 grams we're going to go with. All right. 20. I like uh, strawberries, guys, because you can kind of get a lot of volume from that. A lot of, um, you can get a good amount of volume, and it's really not that many calories. So, I'll show you what 156 grams looks like. 156 grams of strawberries, it's only 12 carbs. Um, and 3.1 of those are fiber. So, there's 109. 24. 41, get a little one here. 152, close enough. So. There is 12 grams of carbs in those strawberries there. Just gonna wash these off a little bit. Oh, oh moss in there, it's all right. Toast is about done here. Guys, I've shown this to you guys before. This is my avocado spread that I like for my avocado toast in the morning. My, uh, my Himalayan pink sea salt and a little bit of this black pepper. It is 7 in the morning, so I gotta eat this really fast, shower, get to work, probably about 7.45. Um, yeah, th this whole, this so this whole breakfast right here, 592 calories. Alright guys, got my lunch stuff here that I cooked up last night. Uh, gonna have some leftover, so use that probably for tomorrow's lunch as well. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys, so like I said, I can't take the camera to work with me, so I'm gonna show you guys what I put together for my lunch today. So I got my broccoli, chicken, and brown rice right there. So... I got my scale here. Make sure I'm making sure everything's accurate. So one serving of this uh, brown rice is 140 grams. Zero the scale out. You want to take rice out to get to negative 140. One uh, cup or one serving of this broccoli is 187. Not 100. It's just 87 grams. So zero the scale out again. Once you put the broccoli top around there. And pull out to get to negative 187. Okay, that's how low I'm about one cup or one serving of broccoli is, guys. So it's really not that bad. Right, plus I, I can't like broccoli anyways. And then I'm gonna do eight ounces of chicken. This scale I have, you can do grams, ounces. What else do you do? I don't ever use the other ones. Pounds and kilograms. So I just use the pounds and ounces. So I'm gonna do eight ounces of chicken then with this rice and broccoli. So eight ounces is a good amount. But when you're cutting. You want to stick to a high-protein diet, so. All right, so. There we have it, chicken, broccoli, and brown rice. And just gonna heat that up at the microwave at my office, and we have Frank's Red Hot and some other condiments at the office, actually, but I'm just gonna go with the Frank's Red Hot there because I know I like it. I know this looks a little bit boring, but you know how serious you are about you know cutting down, guys. Some you got to eat a lot of meals like this. I I've shown you guys the other stuff that I have because I do uh, flexible dieting to keep myself sane. 
um, and I still stick to my macros, but breakfast still, I still got to eat there. But, you know, this is really what my diet consists of most days. And you just got to find a way to make it taste good. Like I enjoy my avocado toast. I like, I like fruit a lot. Um, the hot sauces and stuff to put on, you know, your chicken and rice. Um, so this is usually what I'm eating Monday through Friday. Then on Saturday, I'll get a little bit more flexible, but still hit my macros. So here's just a typical day for me. Um, so yeah, breakfast, lunch, and when I get home from work later, I'll check back in with you guys and show you guys what is going to be my last big meal of the day. So I'll see you guys later. What's up guys, back from work. Uh, Thursday, 5.30 p.m. Cooking up my next meal here. So I got this uh, right there, sorry. Uh, 96.4 extra lean ground beef. I get that at uh, either Giant Eagle or Walmart has that as well. So doing that, gonna put a little bit of Himalayan pink sea salt on there. Uh, some black pepper, and then the, uh, these red potatoes that I got just have 225 grams heating up in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on those as well. So I'll show you guys my meal when it's uh, when it's done. All right, guys, got everything cooked here. Um, got eight ounces of the. Let me let it focus. You can see it's still hot. See the steam coming off the potatoes. Um, 225 grams of uh, roasted red potatoes, serving of broccoli, and eight ounces of the 96.4 lean ground beef. And I'm gonna take this jalapeno mustard that I showed you guys. Just like this. Put it right over the beef and potatoes like that. And that's gonna be my last big meal for the day. Um, I forgot to mention with lunch, I had three CLAs and three fish oils, and guys, these need to be counted into your fat macros. Um, it's going to be one gram of fat per pill, so that's six just right there. Don't forget that if you're taking fish oils, which I highly recommend. CLA is a good one while you're cutting as well. Um, and then uh, after this, I am going to my brother's football game tonight, and um, when I get home to finish up my macros, I'm going to have a scoop of this UMP by Beverly International, my favorite. I'm gonna have a scoop of chocolate, and then I'm gonna have eight ounces of this flaxseed oil to um, hit my fats for the day, because I still haven't hit my fats. So, and that will finish the day for me. Um, oh, and I, um, I gotta have one more ounce of chicken when I get home too. I thought I had put planned for eight, but it was nine, so I had eight for lunch. I need to have one more ounce to hit those macros so let me just go over my fitness pal here guys um, so here's like my my pre-workout and my CLA and fish oil and then you see the uh, Dan and uh, yogurt and banana I had this morning before my workout then go up to breakfast you see the two whole eggs seven egg white servings uh, strawberries uh, bread and Guac uh, avocado spread, uh, lunch, the um, chicken, broccoli, and rice I showed you guys, and my meal right now, the uh, beef, broccoli, potatoes, the flaxseed oil, and then finishing it off with the UMP chocolate, and that's going to give us for the day 208 grams of protein. Our goal is 209, so right on it, basically, one off. Um, don't stress over guys, get within you know five or so either way for carbs and proteins, maybe one or two on the fats. I used to stress over it, had to hit everything on the on the diet. It's really not that serious guys, especially if you're not you know getting ready for a show or anything. Carbs 180, hit it right on the dot. 27 of those were fiber, so I go for 20 to 40. I really highly recommend to get at least 20 grams of fiber a day. Sugar 37, so not bad. At least half of that came from the banana and strawberries. Um, then 50 fats right on the right on the dot there. So for a total of 2,013 calories. So yep, gonna finish it. Gonna eat this. Edit this video. Head to my brother's football game. There's a um, there's a typical full day of eating for you guys uh, that I for one for me uh, on like a weekday when I'm cutting. Um, 
I'm gonna do more of these where I show you guys, uh, you know, how I get a little bit more flexible, make it more fun on the weekend sometimes. Um, what what I do if like I have an, like a work event or I'm going out to dinner to eat somewhere. Show you guys examples then, what I do there, how I plan for that. Um, and then more days like this just with different foods to show you guys that when, you, uh, when you're dieting you don't have to stick to a meal plan where you eat the same thing at the same time every single day or you can uh, the whole point of flexible dieting is you you know you eat nutritious foods you hit your macros and you uh, can still get the results that you want and um, highly recommend a scale if you don't have one that's okay you can still measure it with cups but I highly recommend tracking everything in my fitness pal as well um, sorry my kitchen's a mess right now it's Thursday night I gotta get it clean tonight after the game but anyways uh, my fitness pal helps out a ton and once I started doing this whole fitness thing guys I really kind of started understanding like I can look when I look at food now I kind of look at it I say okay there's probably about this much protein this much fats this much carbs and um, you know it's not, that's not a bad thing because I don't I don't stress over it I mean if I really want something guys I eat it like I said I'm not preparing for a show but it helps me make you know better decisions like if I look at something like Sometimes it's like, you know, it's just not worth it to me. Um, I just understand nutrition and food more ever since I started tracking my macros, which is why I really recommend that you guys start tracking your stuff, at least learn how to do it and understand what's in your food that you're eating. Um, it's not hard at all, and it's very helpful. So, uh, yeah. Um, so that was, that was a typical day. Oh, and I forgot to mention with my supplements yesterday, I also um, uh, drank BCAAs, branched chain amino acids. I just use the MTS machine fuel kind when I'm cutting, so that's just a supplement that I forgot to add in there. So, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, gonna wrap up this video here. Uh, there's the full day of eating. Um, and I'll probably do another one next week. Um, we'll go over how, where my weight's at and how I'm going to make an adjustment and what my new macros are going to be. But, yeah. Closing out here. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my dick.